the dose corn team is coming back guy and this time is even stronger and better last time when i invest into those corn i already predict that in the future that eventually the management team is going to be better it's just a matter of time and i even say that the utility for those corn is a minor thing because the most important thing is the community community right the network and the community for those corn is the most important thing and those corn have that factor but for the utility, guess what happened? Those corn going to transform the utility. They're going to make it a lot better. It's faster. It's more simple. It's more convenient. And guess what happened? It's low fee. And so the, the utility objection is already, is already gone. It has been soft, okay? And in the future, it's going to be much better when we have Elon Musk and his board of advisors, which is Jerry Burchard going to involve it's gonna be uh, more amazing this is my prediction but in this videos I want to talk about the second biggest objection is Jimmy those corn don't have the management team all of the developer is gone they don't have any CEO they don't have any board advisor there's no future for those corn well that is pretty true for most of the retail ordinary investor where you got to see the vision of those corn because the hardest thing to build in a corn is the community it's the viral effect most of the corn out there they don't have that but those corn have that and when I see that as an opportunity guy I take risk and involve at the early stage when those corn still at two to three cents but now I see that those corn eventually they will form the management team, which is not really hard, right? Because when those corn have this viral effect, when people well know about those corn, the developer is gonna come back and they're gonna make it better. Guess what happened today? Today there is the exciting news is those corn form the management team and they created a foundation inside that management team. And guess what happened? Who is in there? Well, let me give you two important people first inside the team. And after that, I walk you through uh, all of the members inside the team and why this team is very important for the growth of those corn. Maybe right now you see that, you know, Jimmy, the team is back, but there's no major movement in the corn. All I can say is just be patient, guys, because <laughs> success takes time and great investment takes time and great business and great corn takes time okay so now let's talk about the first important person is the ethereum co-founder Vitalik why this guy is, is really important because obviously you look at ethereum it's one is the second biggest coin in the world right right behind Bitcoin and now those coins you're talking about is a meme coin is a joke coin and you can invite a board advisor Vitalik inside this board advisor ask yourself this question if you one day you become popular and you have a lot of business skill and your time is really busy and you are multi-billionaire do you have time to go inside a company and be their board of advisor if you don't see a future in it if you are so busy right now and your name is really important you have a reputation in the world right now will you put your name out there into a company or into a corn if it's a joke corn that doesn't have any future come on guy it's common sense even i'm not popular right now i wouldn't even want to put my name into any company where i don't see the future because i don't want to ruin my name so now you think about victaclic he's the co-founder of ethereum and he become the board advisor do you know how much value that is for those corn? Because only one advice, only one advice from Vitalik, it can help those corn to move to the next level. Only the resource of Ethereum, if Vitalik take all the resource of Ethereum with all the knowledge and strategy that he have and bring it to those corn community, what does that really mean for those corn? I really believe that those corn and Ethereum bridge. It's going to be massive in the future because those coin can tap into the resource of Ethereum and they can grow really, really fast and it can scale really fast because Ethereum do a lot of hard work for those coin already. And obviously, the Ethereum co-founder, 
If he don't see the vision in those coins, there is no way in a million years he will become a board advisor. This is based on someone operate a seven-figure business and based on his particular point of view. Okay, I don't say this thing because you know I say out of thin air. I say based on business experience. Okay, no one who are successful and jump into any company and become a board advisor without see the vision for that company. I can tell you that for sure. Number two, guy, we have Elon Musk, who already support and become one of the biggest supporter for those coin. And many people say, you know, Elon Musk, he's just gonna pump those coin up, and he's gonna dump those coin. I don't really think so. Billionaire, they have no time to do that crazy thing. They have no time to mess around. Okay, I don't even have to. I don't even have like free time to mess around and 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 hanging out or like do some sort of like joke or anything like that. No, billionaire, successful people, every single one of them move is very very strategic, and they have a reason for behind that most unsuccessful people will not understand. Why do you think Elon Musk is so busy, but he allowed Jerry Bashar? Do you know who Jerry Bashar is? Based on what I know, he is the manager. He is the CEO behind Neuralink. Okay, and he is the guy that manages a lot of things for Elon Musk. He is like just think about it, like he is one of the most trusted person for Elon Musk, and this guy have a lot of business knowledge, and now he on the board. Come on, guy. Obviously, Elon Musk he don't want to be so obvious to be on the board, right? Because he don't want the SEC or a lot of people go behind him, for example. But this is the first small step in stone. Kind of thing of, just think about like like this. If one day I become like super, super busy, and I have like three or four different company to manage, and right now I saw this project have huge amount of potential, and I don't have time to involve because I have. Two company to run like Tesla and SpaceX. Probably chance are I would tell like you know what, this person, who is a good friend of mine, who is you know who is my general manager or who is my strategic marketer, or who is my legal advisor, someone I really trust. I'm I'm gonna ask this person, can you go and help them out and become that board advisor and share with them. Everything that I know, try to make sure that they become successful. That's what I would do, and that's exactly what Elon Musk is doing. He give one of his best person and go help those con out. If you don't see that is one of the major move that he Elon Musk he support those con. I don't know what else. Okay, any successful business person they will understand why Elon Musk do what he do by sending. A board advisor. Okay, now if you take a look down here, guy, in this particular um, uh, article down here, and if you go down, he say Musk is represented by Jerry uh, Bashar. It's a former senior vice president. This guy have a background, guy. He's a former vice president, senior at Morgan Stanley, and is the long-standing associate of Musk. He is on the board of Musk Foundation, guy, and is the manager for Tesla and SpaceX, and he's he's a part of the family. This is not small, guy. This guy he gonna create some massive value for those corn community and for those corn foundation and for those corn itself. And now, guess what happened, Billy Marcus? Well, finally, Billy Marcus he saw some vision in those corn. That's why he back, right?、Uh, and Jackson Palmer, he is on. Um, the advisory board. So basically, Jackson Palmer、uh, is back on the advisory board. But what I try to say in here, guy, is the the the, the developer, the co-founder of Ethereum, and the board advisor of Elon Musk, Jarrell Bashar, and now even the founders of Dogecoin. Finally, he realized it's like <laughs> he got hit by lightning. Something he realized the potential of Dogecoin. Finally, he 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 is back. On the board advisor, hopefully he have some sort of、um, development idea for those coins because at the end of the day, the the,、um, the founder know a lot about the code and stuff like that. So obviously he gonna bring some value for those coins. But I think that those coins need a new CEO, right? Which is those coins have a new CEO already right now. 
I don't think that Jackson Palmer is going to be a good CEO because he obviously he don't see the vision of those coins. But I think he could be a good technical side of person that can guide them through the development process. Okay. Now take a look down here, guy. You go inside the website foundation dot uh, dot those coin dot com, and you take a look right here. Now, this is the management team. They have Gary, um, Le Gary uh, Lachin. Okay. Uh, please excuse me for pronounce the name, but just say Gary. Right now, he's the founder and Dogecoin community veteran. Okay. Next thing is we have the OG Dogecoin Jan. I have no idea who this is, but uh, they're gonna mention about the legal. This uh, this person take care of the legal. There's there's a uh, co-founder right now um, that helped to get the direction for the company is Gary. Next thing is they have the legal is Jan, and the next thing they have Michi Lumen. This one is the Dogecoin core developer right now that work on the development of Dogecoin. So they have the developer, and they have they have the main developer which is Ross. So they have two developer right here. And the next thing is they have the community advocate product lead. So they're gonna create some sort of um, technology. They're gonna enhance the utility for Dogecoin. So hopefully Elon Musk. I really think that Elon Musk. He probably gonna start to integrate something related to Starlink or leverage the technology of Tesla to bring to the Dogecoin community to bring to Dogecoin, okay? And now they have one, two, three, four, five, five people right here, and and plus over a million of Dogecoin community, the people like you and and I that support Dogecoin, that help to support this movement right here. I really think this is the movement. So, Bo advisor right here. Who do they have? These people, they go going to give uh, uh, strategic move to the Dogecoin community. Okay, let's pause in here for a moment. Most of the people, I don't know if you know that the board of advisor, how important it is. But I'm here to tell you, board of advisor is super important for a company. Here's why. Only one advice from an experienced marketer from an experienced entrepreneurs they can take a company to the next level that's why you see like mastermind people willing to pay fifty thousand dollar hundred of thousand dollar or even million of dollars for a mastermind just to go in there and build a network and just to go in there and asking for advice Sometimes when I want to ask for advice, I'm willing to pay ten thousand or even fifty thousand dollars for those particular advice in the mastermind group because those advice can take my company to the next level and it can avoid a lot of problem and roadblock along the way. So now they have Jerry, who have a lot of experience in the legal, in the financial, and also in the strategy that they can give to those corn. Now they have Max Keller. Max Keller is the those corn core developer. So this guy right here, he used to work with Dogecoin before, and now he can give Dogecoin a lot of technical side of thing to improve Dogecoin better. Now they also have Billy. He is the Dogecoin OG founder. Now he can give some value back for the Dogecoin. And the next thing they have Vitaly. This is a huge value. He is the Ethereum founder. Um, if you think about this for a moment. If Dogecoin run into any kind of issue related to development, problem, technology, Thing like that, and plus direction and strategy, Vitalik can offer some idea. Here, you know what? This is what already worked in the Ethereum. Why don't you take this and leverage that and start using it? I think it's going to be huge. Overall, guy, let me give you guys a quick recap. I think the future again for those corn is really bright because right now those corn solve this two biggest problem of those corn. Number one is the utility. Right, people say those coins don't have an ecosystem. They don't have the utility. Those coins do have an ecosystem and utility that you guys don't know, and you guys don't see. Sometimes the best thing for you to see is under the surface. Just like the best entrepreneur, it's not the one who go out and show up to you that he's the best entrepreneur. It's the one that work behind the scene, work behind the shadow that people they don't see. They work in private. Same thing right now with those coin guy. The best UT for those corn is the community behind those corn. The best UT for those corn guy is really Elon Musk that he get involved with him, his board of advisor, 
that get into those cones, and later on Tesla, and you know SpaceX and the whole entire ecosystem of Tesla, if it accept those cones, that is a huge utility. You can have the, you can have the best cone in the world, but you don't have people to support you. You don't have a community to back you up. You don't have a community to believe into it. You don't have big corporation to buy into your idea. Your product, your service, your corn is useless. It's useless. But those corn have those particular factors. And I don't know how much I can say to you guys for you guys to really understand this. That's the first thing about utility. They, so they, they solve that. Make it simple, convenient, low transaction fee. And now they have all this developer that get together, guy. Get together. All the core developer get together. And plus the co-founder of Ethereum. Now to offer all this utility to those coin. Come on, guy. Now you think that those coin don't have any utility? It's all in here. You guys just don't see it. It's happening. Give it some time. Okay? The next thing, guy, is what happened. Those coin right now, I, that's all I can really say right now is we solved the problem of the utility for those coin already. So the next thing, I think those coin that they're missing out is the team. Guess what happened? Now, second problem solved. They have a team. They have the whole entire team right here. Okay, and I think this team is a very small right now, but it's good to keep the ball rolling. But I think it's gonna grow a lot over time, guy. And this is enough. If you have five to ten good people inside a team, it's better than have a hundred people who are doing nothing and not strategic. I'd rather to have five to ten people any day inside a team that have over 50 to 100 people doing nothing and don't know the direction where the company is. All right, guys, so that is my take. I, all I can say, the future for those coins is really bright. And I say over and over and sometimes patient, whole, okay? And if you guys believe into the project, then stick to the tough time, the rough time, and success always reward the people who patient the most. Good luck, guys, and always invest like a genius. Let's <laughs> go.